here we go with another penalty shootout. John McGinn squeezed the first one in against Israel. He's been subbed, so too Christie, so too Dykes. But at least Lee Griffith is there, even though the keeper got a touch on it. Yeah, just enough power there from Lee Griffiths. Everyone holds their breath, but that is how to take a penalty. That is brilliant from the captain for the night, Dusan Tadic. Every kick counts and that's another one from Callum McGregor who walks away in relief two out of two for Scotland and how tense is this Luka Jovic who's equaliser having come off the bench forced extra time Jovic against Marshall and Marshall gets a touch but he can't keep it out either It is McTominay, and it's right in the bottom corner, and that'll do nicely for Scott McTominay. Brilliant penalty. Brilliant penalty. So glad for him. Nemanja Gudai is next to take the long, long, long walk to the penalty spot for the ultimate test of your character. It's Gudai. It's comfortable. It's 3-3. Well, and with Bernie has yet to score for Scotland in real time. It's his turn now, and he simply has to score this. McBurney steps up, and he was exceptionally calm, and that took a bit of bottle. Wow, oh, he looked calm. Look at the reaction. That tells a real story. Alexander Katai is next up. Who will falter first in this shootout? Can David Marshall produce more heroics here? It's Katai. It's another outstanding penalty. And Kenny McLean, who scored the decisive penalty against Israel, has to step up here and put this one away. If he does, the pressure is all on Serbia. If he doesn't, Scotland could be staring at yet more heartbreak. It is Kenny McLean for Scotland. And he does score right in the corner. And the pressure is piled on Serbia for their final kick. And it is Alexander Mitrovic, the main man, stepping forward. Goals galore for Serbia. But can David Marshall keep him out? Aleksandr Mitrovic has to score for Serbia. And Marshall has saved! Yes! One big yes! It's a happy ending for Scotland for a change. The time has come. The time really has come. A night for the players, a night for the fans, a night for all of Scotland. Serbia are complaining here, but Scotland can still rise now and be a nation again. Scotland will be part of Euro 2020.